Well, December may trigger peak cold and flu season, but symptoms such as coughing and fatigue could be a sign of something else. And joining me to spotlight a serious and often overlooked condition is Dr. Julie Philly from University of Texas Health and Philip Leitman, president of NTM Info and Research. Thanks to both of you for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Of course. So, Dr. Julie Philly, which disease are we talking about here? Well, NTM stands for non-tuberculous mycobacteria, and this is a type of bacteria that's found in our environment and can cause some people to become ill. The symptoms may include things like cough that simply won't go away, often being treated with repetitive antibiotics. People can also experience severe debilitating fatigue, weight loss, and some patients may even experience uh, coughing up blood, also called hemoptysis. And where are people likely to be exposed to this? Well, this is a bacteria, again, that lives in our environment, so we're all exposed to it. Fortunately, the majority of us do not become ill with this type of infection, but some people may. Um, these bacteria are found in the water supply, so we can find this in our tap water. We can often find this in shower heads, sink faucets, things like hot tubs, steam showers, saunas. This can also be found in soil. Things like common potting soil may also grow this type of bacteria. We understand that we're seeing this more, it's, it's more common than we once thought. We're anticipating diagnosing about 100,000 new cases in 2018 alone. Wow, scary for a lot of people, I'm sure, not having thought about this before. Is there a group that is more at risk than another? Well, we do see this uh, more commonly in women than in men and in people that are older rather than in younger patients. People with a weakened immune system for a multitude of reasons may be at risk for this type of infection, as well as people with underlying lung disease, things like COPD and bronchiectasis. But I think it's important to also to note that there are certain patients that we don't understand why they become ill with these type of bacteria. And so I think um, having a, this index of suspicion or a, a reason to test and to diagnose these cases early is very important. And Mr. Leitman, your wife was actually diagnosed with NTM lung disease. Can you talk to us a little bit about her experience with this? Certainly. Uh, Fern's diagnosis was delayed a number of years because she had the kind of a continuous or recurrent cough that Dr. Philly mentioned. But nobody thought to uh, order the correct tests to determine she had NTM. By the time we did uh, have that test, we knew what she had and knew how to address it. But that took some time, and from that point forward, uh, she was treated with multiple antibiotics, which is uh, the standard of care. Uh, we did all of the other therapies to help clear her lungs and keep her strong, and she had a pretty good quality of life for an additional 18 years. Wow, uh, well, I'm happy to hear that she was able to overcome it that way and, and you know, live a, a rewarding life for that many years. So if people want resources, uh, what's out there for them? Well, I think the, uh, there's a couple of great resources. Um, one is aboutntm.com, and another important patient resource is ntminfo.org. Both of these websites are excellent for patients and physicians to gain more information and a better understanding of this disease. Well, Dr. Julie Philly and uh, Mr. Philip Leitman, thanks so much for your time this morning, uh, Philip, and for sharing your personal story. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Alex. Thank you for having us. Of course. We'll be right back.